Welcome to the Zero to Five Million Dollar Podcast. I'm Sean Finder, and I'm with my co-host Ollie Whitfield. This show is brought to you by Autoclose, a vanilla soft company. Ollie, I think we have a, a big announcement to make on uh, this week's episode. Yeah. So for video watchers, uh, you're seeing. I can't see what I'm showing you. Um, am I am I roughly in screen, Sean? Am yeah, I we see the Jaguars. And the London uh, flag that you got. Yeah, so I went to my first NFL game. Loved it. And uh, I now need to buy a Joe Burrow jersey in the Black Friday sale. So I'll be going to that next year. But um, that's not the main news, is it? So um, we have a bit of an announcement. And you might have guessed by the title of the episode, no matter where you're listening. Uh, we're taking a pause. So that means a few things. That means no new episodes. That makes me sad. It also means that I get to stop um, abusing Sean. That makes me pretty sad. But um, there may be something else in the works. That makes me quite excited. Um, we've had a good time doing this. And uh, this is not to say that the zero to five million dollar podcast is gone. We're taking a pause. We're having to think about what are we going to do? There's been some news going on around the company. You might have seen, you might not. If, uh, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, head over to the website and you might see a little bit more. But um, we're thinking about where are we going next? Where are we headed? And what do we need to accomplish that? So this is uh, a pause for now, but um, I thought it'd be nice to come on A, let everybody know, and then B, maybe we can cast our mind back to some of the best episodes, some of the best things that we've learned. And um, and think about, this has been two years that we've been doing this. It doesn't feel like that. So um, it's been a long time. A lot of time with me and you sat here mocking each other, but um what comes to mind? What has been one of the favorite episodes that you've been on? Well, before we said that, I would, you know, I just want to, you know, let everyone know that, yeah, we're, you know, we are just looking to potentially um, see what we're going to do. We're on pause, uh, you know, maybe make a little twist to the, the podcast. Um, just thinking of looking back at all the great guests that we've had. Um, I think the, the, the my favorite part of all the episodes, Ollie, was really seeing what, people can improve on what are some of the mistakes that they made during their zero to five million uh dollar dollar um uh, in their business i think asking that question really resonated with a lot of our audience because i used to i remember going to sas north uh and talking to people and, and that's the one thing that really resonated was finding out like people that are early on what was really some of those mistakes so i think people and i hope people got a lot of um information out of that but we had a lot of guests. We had guests from all over the world. Um, they brought a ton of insight. Um, and they were all at different levels. We brought on some more salesy entrepreneurs, some more IT driven, some introverts, some extroverts. Um, but it was just, it was great to really see and feel uh, the energy and entrepreneurship, but also see what people are up to and, and how they're getting to the next level. But um, if you had to say one guest, Ollie, that really stuck out to you, uh, and I know you, you, you probably can probably name more than one. What really stuck out to you um, for the Zero to Five Million Dollar Podcast? There was a few really good ones. Um, probably for me as a host, and we set this up together, so I look at the stats for it. When we started off, we had a flurry of episodes. We did like five in a week, and then we had a few for a week to get going. Uh, we had all of the big names that we know, and we had uh, plenty of people in different industries. One of the surprises, our best listened to episode was, uh, was one of my friend's, um, business partners, Nancy Kelly. And, um, you know, I don't think she'd be offended by this. She's not a LinkedIn influencer or particularly big profile. She's not really in software or SaaS or any of the kind of microcosm that we're in. So the echo chamber doesn't really apply, uh, but her episode was really good. And um, she talked a lot about what she learned in COVID through dealing with, a, a, I believe she does something to do with construction and having a lot of people who are going out to do labor um, day, day by day. So dealing with humans with uncertain workload and uh, am I going to get paid today or this week or next month, all of that, how she dealt with it. And that being our top episode for, for listenership was really interesting. Um, so a few question marks as to how did that happen and, and why, but great episode and really i like to listen to people who are in a different market to me because yeah. i kind of know how our world works been in it for a while so you get to know the patterns but when you see other business models and you can apply certain things in certain different ways that's really interesting to me so i, I pretty much i would go for that one but what about you 
I think that, you know, Peter Caputo uh, was another good um, episode. Um, we had um, we had Jamie Shanks on for a little bit. I mean, we had some really, really good. I, I really enjoy what ones I liked. It was the ones that um, already had one successful exit. So really seeing those companies that have had the successful exit and how they're getting to their next successful exit and improving upon anything that they might have made mistakes on the initial one. Also, AJ Alonzo had a great episode with us as well. That really stuck out. Um, but I would say, you know what? We, we did have a bunch of really, really knowledgeable and good guests on this, on this podcast. And I think if we do make a little twist to it, um, who knows? Maybe we'll do like the five to 10 million. That could be like the, the second version of this. But I think there's a lot of opportunity. Um, and, and the feedback we've been getting from all of our, our listeners has been amazing. And those are really what, what help bring on some of these these amazing guests and learn from their experiences. You know, I'd love to do before we sign this out. There's been a couple episodes we didn't put out. And there's one in particular that's coming to mind. That I, <laughs> do, do you want to tell that story? You know the one I mean, right? No, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Which you know one. that one where every single question we asked, it was God did it. You remember oh. that one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> We, we, we did, we did have uh, a guest and, uh, we actually had, we had a few episodes that we just couldn't publish, uh, because the guests, um, were not cooperating. We'll just say that. Uh, we've also had some guests where, um, we'd have a 20 minute show and we'd probably talk for 30 seconds and they would go for 19 minutes. Uh, but we do have one episode. Maybe we will post it. I don't know about Ollie, but we could, maybe we could post it. But this one was, um, um, uh, let's just say, a lot about um, Jesus and God, I would say. Is that what you would say, Ali? Yeah. Uh, every tangible reason why the business succeeded, it was because of God. And th- the answer was very succinctly, praise God. God did it. And I was thinking, okay, I- I'm an atheist, so sure. Like, I'm not going to question anything there. But um, if if you doubled your sales... Did anything else happen? No, it was God. So uh, yeah. the entire episode was very just like that. So uh, probably not very tactical and applicable for everybody to listen to. I would say that. Yeah. Well, on that note, um, I want to first actually, I want to thank you, Ollie. Um, it, this has been a, a pleasure doing this podcast. And as I said, this is not the end. This is just a pause to potentially pivot. Um, and we will keep you guys in the loop with exactly what we're doing, where we're going, what we're going to build next. Um, if it's a continuation of this, et cetera, we're just going to reevaluate our strategies, um, look at what else we'd like to do. But uh, you guys have been amazing. I want to thank all the guests that have come on our show. I want to thank all the listeners that come on the show. I want to thank everyone that when I've gone, gone to events and said they're, they were a listener. Um, because it's without you guys, we probably wouldn't have done this show. And we continue to do this show because you guys were getting value from it. So um, we hope you enjoy the show. Uh, and Ollie, I want to thank you again for being my co-host on this uh, exciting journey. It's been good fun. Uh, probably my favorite episode was the interview of you, where um, I managed to remind you of that tennis guy who beat you, or in Bilbao, which was a personal ability. highlight of mine in the last two years. So it's been good fun, and thanks for your being able to receive so much shit and stick from me, as, as you so often do. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone.